So here I have a rectangular glass block and I also have a laser. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn the laser light on and then we're going to shine this green laser light through the block. And we're going to do that at 90 degrees uh, to the surface, so basically coming in at a normal. And what you can't really see here, because you know it's not the most visible thing here, is that this laser light hits the block, it slows down, it moves through the, uh, the block and then it comes out the other side. And the key thing to note here, and you can just about see it, is that, that at all times it's green laser light. And that's really, really important. So what we have here is light entering something, it slows down because this is a higher refractive index. And remember, n is equal to c over v. So that means that the refractive index is equal to the ratio of the speed of light in the vacuum to the speed of light in this other material. And uh, the light slows down when it comes out the other side, then speeds up again. But what's happening to the wavelength and frequency of the light inside the block? So I've just drawn around the block and I've just put in a ray of light here to represent the green laser light. Uh, so maybe if I just take that away to make things a little bit clearer. Now the thing is, if you just look at a ray, it doesn't really explain what's happening. So we need to think about maybe the wave fronts, which are basically at 90 degrees to the direction that this ray is travelling in. So if I think about the wave fronts here, what we find is that these are moving along like this. As the light slows down, these wave fronts get closer together. So what's actually happening is, inside the block, the wavelength gets shorter, but if we were to look at any point and look at the number of wave fronts passing per second, the frequency, that would stay exactly the same. And it's when the ray of light exits and it speeds up, it's when the wavelength gets longer again. And we can use this idea of wave fronts to explain why the light changes direction if it's shining at an angle. And this is really important. What that means is, first of all, is that the colour of the light doesn't depend on the wavelength, it actually depends upon the frequency of the light. So you can have green light with a different wavelength to green light in the vacuum, but provided it's at the same frequency, it'll have the same colour. The other thing to note is what refraction actually means. Now, refraction is the change in direction of a wave. And if you have a wave coming in at an angle of instance of zero, um, you know, that means it's at 90 degrees to the surface, actually no refraction happens. Refraction is only when the light changes direction, and if it comes in here, there's no refraction because it's moving in that same direction as it moves through the block. So refraction doesn't refer to the, the change in velocity or the change in speed of that wave, but refraction re refers to the change in direction of a wave, which is what happens at angles of instance other than zero.